Well, hi everybody, it's Mike from Mike's Movies, member of UK KRM. Uh, currently very concerned about interference matters. Now, one of the first things to try, I suppose, is to make your own station as immune from interference as you can. And I saw a video recently by an amateur radio operator in Australia who had changed over to a horizontal loop. Now, he was using a, a long, very long wire loop. I haven't got the space for that. But I do have a uh, Wellbrook ALA1530, which I've used successfully. United Sierra 2, Yankee Whiskey. That's right, I'm just being interrupted by uh, some activity there on 14175. Uh, QSR, your file line 080. Have you QTC for me? Anyway, I saw this video and I thought, well, I wonder if a horizontal loop would actually be more immune to interference than the Ralph Backer Mini Whip, which I've used with great success. That Mini Whip is designed to be very low noise and for use in a sort of town and urban environments, so I had my doubts. So what I've done is connected up the Welbrook ALA 1530 in a horizontal fashion, uh, suspended it with some strings and bits of post and the usual way, and um, We've done some experiments and you'll see these as we go along. But uh, I'll be interested in your thoughts. Uh, at the moment, the Wellbrook is a lot better on rejecting interference, local interference. Um, shortwave um, HF upward is really, really good, but it is terrible on the NDB band, which is one of my big interests. Uh, local NDB Shoreham, which is only 17 miles from me, is virtually not there but on the mini whip it comes pounding in why would that be anyway let's have a little go into the video now Roger. and let you see what you think thank you 73 good luck So this is a broadcast station registering about S5 with lots of interference on 15410. This is on the mini whip. So I'm going to go and swap over to the horizontal loop and see if that makes a difference. Well, there is a lot of um, geomantic storm activity, but to me the interference is gone. So this is on the horizontal loop. Okay, it's another broadcast station. This is on the loop still. And uh, I have a walkie talkie here which I'm going to take the other one out into the garden so I can call over, leave the camera running, and, and tell you the moment I change over the 1212. Hey, with the viewers upstairs, I'm just about to disconnect the horizontal loop. Should now be noticing a massive noise reduction along with all the other signals. Just about to reconnect the mini whip which is currently laying on the ground. Reconnected. 
Okay, the mini whip is now up at its full height. Uh, I'm wondering what the interference is like. I won't find out till I go in and check my video myself. But of course, you'll be finding out straight away. I'll be quiet now and let you find out. Right, I'm now going to bring the mini whip back down and reconnect the horizontal loop for another comparison. Now back on the horizontal loop, the Wellbrook ALA 1430, which you'll see shortly. Okay, very disappointing results on the NDB band. This is SHM, which is only about 16, 17 miles from me, normally pounds through. This is on the horizontal loop. So I'm going to nip out, put the mini whip back again, and see if that's any different, and I'll call it over the radio when I do it. Side. This is, well, if you can see that, <laughs> this is the ALA 1530 in the horizontal position. As you can see, it's just lashed at the moment. A reasonable height above ground, held with uh, four guy lines and a bamboo cane outside of the loop just to support the weight of the amplifier. Mini whips laying here at the moment and ordinarily would be at the top of this mast. And as always when you're doing radio experiments, it's a windy day.